not like and subscribe please like and sub subscribe the channel so today i am going to uh, show you how you can manage the user enrollment and device enrollment i mean how you can create that so if you are new to this channel uh, this channel is all about if you want to learn something regarding mobile devices or windows or microsoft intune or anything uh, related to the mobile device management like workspace one or any other MDM solutions right so uh, if you are new to this um, Microsoft Intune ecosystem so this is Microsoft Intune portal if you go to the devices here and click on Apple iOS I, iOS and iPad devices and here you see the iOS and iPad enrollment okay uh, once you click on that there is some prerequisites right as, as you already know you have to bind your Intune with Apple MDM APNS push notifications which is I have already made video how you can bind that you can go through today I am going to so, uh, talk about this enrollment option right so you see it's in preview mode so it's not in public preview mode uh, I mean it's not in uh, for the public use so that's why they have put preview mode so I'm talking about this how you can manage the user enrollment and the device enrollment option so if you click on that you see you have to create and manage enrollment type profile for iOS users that have the personal or corporate devices this profile deploy the devices enrollment type options to users setting up their devices in, in the, through the company portal so if I go back to this article you see right so there is there are two type of enrollment actually uh, i mean the the profile you have to create so either you can create the device enrollment profile or user enrollment profile or you can give options to the users whether they can select user or the device enrollment profile and currently uh, this is in preview mode so and you see uh, these are the previous requisites as you know this you have to set the MDM authority devices um, you need manage Apple ID and the push notification and iOS person should be 13 and ever of course uh, all are using 14 right so and and if you uh, if you create a user enrollment profile which will override the enrollment restrictions profile so if you so if you create then it will override the enrollment restrictions right so what we'll do we'll gonna create this profile so you have to create a profile and give name like user profile user enrollment profile okay just click next and you see the enrollment option right the user enrollment device enrollment and determine based on the choice so here if you see if you require users to select the device type like personal devices will enroll a user enrollment right so if you have a BYD devices you should select create a profile for user enrollment if it's a company owned devices then you can go for the device enrollment if you don't require users to select their device type device will enroll with the selected default option okay so you can if you click on more option you will see the difference actually all these right so the user enrollment profile and the device enrollment profile you see so in the device enrollment profile this is what i was showing on the portal all the user in this profile you use the device enrollment if you select the user enrollment all the user in this profile will use the user enrollment and if you select the third option all user in this profile will be given the choice of which enrollment type you can use so when user enroll their devices through the company portal they they choose between like i on the devices or company on the devices so if they choose later the devices will be enrolled by using the device enrollment if if the user choose i on the devices they will get another option to secure the entire devices or or just secure the work related data so end user selection of the whether they own the devices or or based on that they can determine which enrollment type is implemented right and it will also reflected on the device attributes in the intune right so let's get to the for the BYD devices right personal devices user enrollment select next and you can apply to the all groups or or the selected users 
and click next that's it so I, I have just applied for all the users and you see the priority one right so this is I have no I have assigned it okay second one is the device profile okay. device profile click next and you see the device enrollment profile click next similar like you can apply to selected users right or all users and that's it so you see the device profile is priority to and again if you quickly go uh, optional so you can you, you can give any name and I'm determined based on the user choice so I'm selecting okay and you see all three right so I want this device profile has to be on first so so you see you just drag and drag up and drag down so the device profile is the first and then second is user profile and third is optional so you can define the priority as well so this is how you can create the device file uh, enrollment profile based on on on, on your requirement whether you want to use the device profile for company owned devices or you want to give options to the users or you can just use the user enrollment profile for personal devices so hope you learn how you can create this um, and currently this is actually very new in preview mode so you can test it on your devices because microsoft will not gonna support it for the production because it, they, that's why they have put in the preview mode once it will be available it will show ever okay so I hope you have learned how you can create the enrollment profile and manage the user enrollment and device enrollment options for your company or personal iOS devices for your organization. Till then, thank you. Have a good day.